Okay. Hey everybody, it's oh, let me close this door for this damn cat. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Style Vixen, and if you want to know what I'm taking to Thailand, then just keep watching. Alright y'all, so you know I'm leaving for Thailand very soon. Still kind of scared, but a little less scared. Um, I'm most concerned about the 14 hour flight. I'm going to get over it. I'm going to get it. I'll be alright. Um, but I do have to pack. And this is an interesting thing for me. I'm the person, I don't like to fold my clothes, period, anyway. So now I gotta figure out how to fit this, all this stuff into a suitcase. I don't know how that's gonna work. Anyway, I have this beautiful suitcase here. It's really, really big. It was gifted to me from my friend Chris Eisenberg. Chris is a friend of mine that I met back when I was a bicycle person. I used to ride a bike. Um, and she is so kind to let me borrow her suitcase while she's actually away cycling. She is doing AIDS Life Cycle, and I did AIDS Life Cycle back in 2012. It's a ride that raises money for um, AIDS research and services, and it starts in San Francisco, and it comes all the way down to LA. It's 545 miles. Crazy, right? It takes a whole week to do it. I did it one time. I don't know if I'll ever do it again. Um, but you know, sometimes when you do new things, you meet people that are lifelong friends. And Chris is one of those people. I was like, I need a suitcase. She was like, come get it. So here's the suitcase. Um, and I think, let's see how I can try to organize this to make this make the most sense. Um, I just said I don't like folding clothes. And as a true statement, and somebody suggested to me um, these things called, what do, you, what do you call these things? These are packing cubes, I think they're called. And I don't think these are the like name brand. I'm sure there's a name brand one. These came from Amazon. Um, and they are supposed to help you organize your clothes in a way that, you know, makes it easier to fit them into the suitcase. So they have um, the clear ones for your, um, you know, liquids, your lotions and things like that. And then they have different sized um, bags for your other types of clothing. And this one is supposed to be for your shoes. I'm like, whose shoes finna go in here? Because I got, let me see, one. To about four five pair of shoes <laughs> I want to take so I'm not sure how that's gonna work um, but I did try it out here's the biggest bag um, that came in the set and I put all of my skirts and dresses in here and I mean they are in here I folded them up I didn't even really fold them up that well I'm, like I said I'm not a folder I'm not Marie Kondo I don't know how to do all that folding stuff so I folded it as best as it's gonna get folded okay um, but it's in here and so I plan to do skirts, dresses, tops um, in one bag, shorts and like jumpsuits in another bag, swimsuits in another bag. I think I don't even have that many bags, but whatever. Uh, we'll find some Ziploc bags or something. Um, and put my shoes in the shoe bag. So that's that. So we'll see how this goes. So far, so good. Like I said, all my dresses and stuff are in here, dresses and skirts. Mind you, I'm only going to be gone for a week, so I don't even know. Like, I got this. Like I said, I got my pajamas. I got my underwears. I got shorts. I got tops. I mean, jumpsuits. It's like, why am I packing all these clothes for seven days? Don't even trip, because I might be doing, like, outfit changes midday. Like, hmm, I'm going to change it to my midday afternoon outfit. I might have to just do that, because I show sure am bringing a lot of stuff. So that's one thing that I'm going to try out. Hopefully it works. Um, next I want to talk to you about some of the stuff that I'm carrying on the plane with me or will be wearing on the plane. So I was told to get compression socks um, to kind of keep the circulation glow uh, glowing. Yes, glowing. Um, it's not a good thing to get blood clots while you're sitting on the plane for 14 hours. Um, so you need to get up and walk around, but you also should have on compression socks. So I bought some compression socks again from Amazon. Like Amazon has been my best friend for this because I'll think of something, order it, it's here in a couple of days. I'll be like, dang, I forgot this. Order it, it's here in a couple of days. Um, several times I've had to reorder things because I've forgotten. So those are going to go on while I'm on the plane. I plan to wear comfy clothes leggings t-shirt um sweater right and have the socks on with some slippers i'll have my travel pillow and just you know be cool this 
is my little backpack that I'm going to carry on um, the plane. So I got this also from Amazon. They said it was an anti-theft backpack. I'm not really sure or convinced that it is. Some of them have um, measures where it makes it hard to cut the straps or whatever. But this one was really cute. I just got it because it's cute and it had the little poopy thing that I like. Um, things that I'm taking with me on the plane. I found my daughter's tablet that she abandoned several years ago. It works fine. Charged it up. Perfect. Netflix is on here. I downloaded about a trillion um, TV shows and movies. I have a journal. You know, I need to journal my life while I'm on this flight. I have my passport. I got some Advil in case I get a headache from, you know, realizing that I'm sitting on this plane forever. Um, I have an external battery charger for either my phone or the tablet. I have my manly hands little sleep thing so when it's time to go to sleep I'll be ready like good night. Um, I have my prescription medication. I told you guys I had to ask my doctor for some pills to help me calm down. I don't have an anxiety attack on the plane. Um, so I have those. Can't forget those. And I think that's all. I'll probably put my wallet, of course, in here. Um, I might take a couple of books or something. I don't, I don't want to have too much stuff in here. I probably will pack some snacks, right? Little snackies. Um, oh, but I can't carry on snacks. Oh, I'll buy snacks at the airport that I can carry on. I'm like, I can't just throw snacks in here. Anyway, so that's the bag. This is the bag I'm taking with me. Oops, I dropped something. Hold on. Um, and... I had I went to a meet and greet with the company that is doing this girls trip. It's called Pushpin Adventures. You can follow them on Facebook. I believe they have an Instagram page. Really, really wonderful um, organization or company run by a black woman. Um, and she travels the world and takes folks along or schedules their trips. It's really, really cool. And so she gave us this really cool goodie bag. We had a meet and greet um, prior to our trip. And in it has, there's some really cool stuff. She gave us some potato chips. I'm like, baby, these chips gonna be ate up. <laughs> properly today i ain't saving these chips for nobody's travel um hand sanitizer which is really um helpful uh fan let's see oh yeah oh yeah I'm, i love these these about to eat i'm about to eat these right now this is toilet tissue um apparently what i've been hearing is that um not so much so in the hotels and the resort areas there is toilet paper but in the public bathrooms in parts of thailand there is no toilet paper so this is like a little baby roll of toilet paper which is really cute another really cute thing that i oh here it is this is um compressed tissues i've seen these before um, I have a friend that works in HIV AIDS uh, prevention and treatment and he had given me a goodie bag and one of these was in here and I said what is it a breath mint I don't know I, I didn't know what it was but these are compressed tissues um, they are biodegradable you add water and then it unfolds and it becomes like a paper towel um, that you can use to you know wipe up wipe your face wipe whatever you need to wipe so I thought that was really nice of her to give us this um, to help us, you know, build our toiletry um, section or, or stuff. Some other things that I bought outside of the usual, I bought air freshener because I will have a roommate. Okay, so you don't want to be in the bathroom causing bathroom issues and then just, you know, because we got to share, we got to work together. Um, so I bought some air freshener. I actually bought baby wipes. Um, toilet paper is nice. But again, you're out. I don't know. I just felt like I wanted some baby wipes instead of just toilet paper. Can't forget the sunscreen. This is SPF 70. Black people burn too. Okay. It's not just fair skinned folk that get sunburned. We can burn up just as much as anybody else. So you got to have your sunscreen. Um, mosquito repellent is really important. I hear that the mosquitoes in Thailand are special. And if they have never tasted you before, they just go and just bite you all up. You're like, ooh, this new girl, where you from, girl? I just bite you all up. I don't want that. So I bought some repellent. Now I feel like I should have brought a bigger one, but it's okay. Um, this has DEET in it, so it is a chemical, but this is probably the, the most effective. And I don't know if I'm actually going to take this, but I thought about it. So, I mean, I'll be gone for a week. Maybe I want to wash or rinse out my underwear or 
my swimsuit or something and kind of hang it to dry I don't know um, so I thought about bringing this small thing maybe put it in a ziploc a double ziploc bag so it doesn't spill in my suitcase so I, I'm not sure if anybody knows or have any thoughts about that um, let me know the other thing that I got and I'm sure most of you already know that the plugs are different in other parts of the world so you just can't you know if you bring your regular stuff it's not gonna work so I brought, uh, bought a, from Amazon, an adapter, and it has the different plugs for different parts of the world, and you just kind of stick it in the back, um, and then um, you can plug it in, and then in the front you can plug in your, your stuff. Um, and it also has some USB chargers as well. So I thought that was really cool. Um, the next thing that I have is a waterproof, um, case for my phone just when we're out by the water you know at the pool or at the beach or something you know wherever like any place where there's going to be a lot of water I thought it would be good to just put the phone in here um, so in case it falls in the water at least it won't be like a lost cause um, the phone will be protected so I did buy that um, oh and a friend of mine who travels a whole heck of a lot more than I do said hey take this with you use this as you're out um, and you can put your money in it you put your uh, pass a uh, copy of your passport any little thing your lip gloss your phone in this she said it's leather makes it a little harder to kind of cut off of you because um, honey they will she said they will snatch they will cut your stuff open you won't even know it's open your purse will be slit open and, and, and gone your stuff is gone so she thought that and she has had experience with this bag and felt that it would be the best option it's here I can kind of keep my hands on it if I feel like I need to um, some of my outfits are like flowy I could probably even put it under right you wouldn't even know it's there um, and keep it like that as well so I was grateful for this she gave this to me um, sold this to me for a steal it's like 10 bucks um, other things oh huh yes so this same friend fabulous woman she is moving herself she's moving away to a foreign country and um she's selling all of her stuff she had a company where she was selling um beautiful clothes beautiful accessories purses shoes eyeglass cases she was going to parts of africa and other parts of the world and kind of sourcing these products or, or working with um local vendors to create these products so anyway like i said as she's moving she's trying to get rid of a lot of her stuff and so she had wow she had just all sorts of beautiful Ankara fabric. So Ankara fabric or wax cloth is fabric that is um, typically worn by women in parts of Africa. Um, make all kinds of beautiful dresses, skirts, suits, anything really with them. And so I, I mean, I went over there and bought, uh, actually I think I bought one, two, three, four, I think I bought six total. Um, and these are six yard um, sort of fabric things. I don't know what you call them. <laughs> Pallets, not a pallet. I don't know. Anyway, six yards of fabric. Um, and so when I go to Thailand, I plan to get clothes made. And, you know, they're well known for having these wonderful tailors that can make suits or whatever really, with whatever you want. And um, the thought was for me, I would get a suit made. So I'm thinking of getting a really pretty suit made. And I want to get some skirts and dresses made. Um, the thing is, they probably won't have Ankara fabric in Thailand. So I'm going to take this fabric with me. Um, I imagine this um, fabric to be a two-piece um, long maxi skirt with a slit up the front with a cute crop top. So that's what I see for this fabric. Um, this fabric, I'm thinking um, a shirt dress, something for work, something really cute that I can wear for work. And same thing with this one, I'm thinking of a shirt dress. I have um, some pictures I've taken, um, screenshot that I can show them um, and see what they can do with the fa with the fabric. Um, the rest of the fabric I bought, um, I'm gonna make curtains with two of the six yard, um, this pretty leaves kind of fabric or color or pattern. And then another one I'm gonna use to reupholster a chair that my great grandparents had in their house. So I'm gonna take that and get it reupholstered. Um, other things, I have of course my travel pillow, 
Um, I am, I think I'm gonna get it all together. I'm starting to, you know, really start to get things together and pack them all up. Um, so we'll see how, how it goes. And I am so excited. Um, I'll see, I don't know, like I said, I hate folding anyway, so we will see how this goes. Everything might just get thrown in the bag, just throw it in the suitcase, but hopefully not. Hopefully I can get it together and have some patience and actually get this done. So that's all. Um, I thought about actually sitting here and talking to you while I am packing, but I don't think that's gonna be fun. <laughs> I wouldn't watch that, so I didn't think you would wanna watch that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Look forward to um, sharing with you photos and video of the trip. I will try to go live on YouTube as often as I can. I'm not really, this is, will be my first time really doing that. So um, we'll see. And if that doesn't really work for me, I'll, I'll just record um, late, you know, video and then upload it later. Um, yeah, wish me well. Wish me safe travels, please. Wish me an anxiety-free, stress-free flight. Um, I, you know, I, I accept all well wishes and prayers. Um, prayers for calm. Prayers for, um, you know, just relaxation and not worrying. I, I think that's just me. I mean, I am excited to get there, of course, and to experience it. It's just the journey to get there that's a little bit bothersome for me. I'm a little concerned about the flight. I don't want to be that person six hours in, literally freaking out in the plane. Like that, for, for whatever reason, is the thing that worries me the most. Like, I don't want to be the one in the straight jacket, right? <laughs> I don't want to be that person so um, I'm going to really you know take my medicine and I'm going to try to calm down and really think about um, my destination and how much fun I'll have so I think that'll help a lot but anyway thanks so much for watching if you have travel tips packing tips any kind of tips um, leave them down below in the comment section and um, like I said I hope to share other videos with you when I get over there and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay. <clears throat> okay. It looks messy, but I promise you, it is not messy. <laughs> it looks crazy, but it's not. All right, so here are these packing cubes. Let me back up so you can see it better. I'm kinda close. So here are the packing cubes, and this is, you know, you put your stuff in there and fold it up nicely. I put um, these shoes um, in the Ziploc because we're gonna go see the elephants and they said to wear comfortable shoes that you don't care about and those are comfortable shoes that I don't care about. Toiletries, also I kinda put in Ziploc bags. Um, my shoes are down here in their own um, packing cubes. Um, I put my underwear in a Ziploc bag and I actually put two Ziploc bags, oops, sorry. Two Ziploc bags, I'm trying to really focus. Come on camera. One for the clean ones and one for the dirty ones. And I put um, dryer sheets in the bag that I will put the dirty ones in. And I think I told you guys I'm going to bring detergent because I'm going to try to maybe wash some of them, you know, in, in the sink or in the bathtub or whatever and let them dry. Um, my bras are in here. And I have a big, big packing bag with like my dresses and this one here. Um, what's in here? I think my bathing suits are in there. So there is method. It, it doesn't look, you know, super, super organized, but it really is organized as best as it's going to be. So, yeah, that's how we got from the pile of clothes everywhere to some sense of organization within the suitcase. <laughs>